Hello, friends. So, I believe we read first day jitters on the first day of school. This is called the last day blues. So I like to read this one at the end of the year too. And I thought it'd be a cute thing to share with you. So, last day blues. It's written by Julie Dannenberg and illustrated by Judy Love. Look at all the teachers and the kids on the bus. On the Monday before the Friday that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell took attendance. She sighed as she called out the last name. I'm going to miss all of you, she said. The kids nodded in agreement. I'm going to miss my friends, said Shannon. I'm going to miss Daisy, said Dan. I'm going to miss chocolate milk and pizza for lunch, said Joe. Everyone felt a little blue thinking about the last day of school. Even Daisy, the snake. That afternoon during recess, the students talked as they hung out on the jungle gym. Mrs. Hartwell said she's going to miss us, said Alexandra, swinging from a bar. We should get a present to cheer her up, said Eddie, hanging upside down by his knees. What could they get her? Like a caring group of kids. I could give her the rest of my sandwich. It's my mom's bologna special, said Josh, or a coffee cup, or a new pen, the kind with feathers and beads. The students thought and thought, but couldn't come up with one single idea that they all agreed on. We'll think of something tomorrow, Eddie assured everyone as they lined up at the drinking fountain. On the Tuesday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell read the final page of their last read aloud book. I'm going to miss circle time, said Mrs. Hartwell. I'm going to miss science, said Emily. I'm gonna miss seeing Mrs. Hartwell wear her safety goggles during science, said Jack, giggling. And so before they got too sad, Mrs. Hartwell put on her safety goggles one last time, just for fun. We definitely need to cheer Mrs. Hartwell up, said Andy during recess as he jumped out of a swing. Any ideas about a present, Eddie asked. Nope, they all answered back. Hmm. On the Wednesday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell brought in her super duper sugar cookies with extra frosting. I'm going to miss snack time, but I can't wait for barbecues by the pool, said Jack. I'm going to miss recess, but I can't wait to play hide and seek outside after dinner, said Ale Alexandra. I'll miss school, but I can't wait for summer vacation, said Josh. The class discussed their summer plans and drowned their last day blues with another round of milk and sugar cookies. So I think they're drawing what they're gonna do for the summer. I don't know whether to be happy or sad today, Andy said the minute they all arrived at the jungle gym. Mrs. Hartwell is sad, said Olivia. She probably doesn't want the year to end. While we're swimming, she'll be reading her old lesson plans, said Walker. And while we're playing, she'll be trying to remember the fun times we had this year. And that's when an idea zipped, zapped, and zinged her through Eddie's brain. I know exactly what'll cheer her up, Eddie said, jumping down from the jungle gym. The class agreed it was perfect. I wonder what it is. On the Thursday before the Friday that was the last day of school, Eddie raised his hand right after Mrs. Hartwell started language arts. We need some privacy, please, he said. 
And so Mrs. Hartwell took down bulletin boards with her back to the class. She never even peeked. Well, only once. On the morning of the Friday, that was the Friday, that was the last day of school, the students dashed into the classroom. They snapped open the shades for the very last time. They did their chores for the very last time. They fed Daisy for the very last time. And as soon as the bell rang, they couldn't wait for Mrs. Hartwell to see her present for the very first time. They're all around the room doing their chores. The last day of school makes us so blue. We'll miss recess and pizza and reading, too. We'll miss Daisy and cookies and friendship, true. Snack time and science and learning new. We'll miss spelling bees for our test review and groundhogs that play peekaboo. The year's been great. A big wahoo! There are many things to miss, it's true. But mostly what we'll miss is you. And then they all drew a picture with their name around the border. Oh, she looks very happy. That was a very sweet poem. Later on during recess, Eddie said, I think Mrs. Hartwell liked her present. I just hope it helps, Margaret said. Poor Mrs. Hartwell. They all sat, said sadly as they pictured their final goodbye. Teachers must hate the last day of school. They're all crying. And then it was time. The bell rang. Goodbye, the students called as they rushed out the door. Goodbye, Mrs. Hartwell called after them. And then she returned to her empty classroom. It's just you and me, Daisy, she said. I'm sure going to miss them this summer. But I can't wait for vacation. <laughs> and all the teachers are ready to have their vacation. And she goes to the beach and sleeps in a hammock. Sees nature in a canoe. So just like you guys, we like the vacation too, but it is true. I will miss you guys, and this year was a little different. It was a little different with my neck surgery, and then we had this distance learning happen, and I really, really enjoyed being your teacher even though we got robbed of a lot of time together. This distance learning I've still been able to keep in touch with you guys and see you on Zoom which is the best next best thing and um, I hope you guys have a great summer and keep in touch and come visit me next year. Um, so the last day blues is the ending to first day jitters and if you remember in first day jitters they had, it was the teacher not wanting to start at a new school, remember? And it was the teacher that was nervous, but they wrote it like it was a student. So this one, they kind of do it backwards. Um, I just think it's a great follow-up and a great last day book. So last day blues, but let's all try and enjoy the summer, enjoy nature, get unplugged and stay off the computers since we've been on them so much for distance learning. And hopefully we can get together at a park or something as soon as the social distancing things are lifted a little bit more. Well, so I'll be in touch with your parents as things change and hopefully we can set up a day at a park to be all together and have our last day celebration. But for now, we will have our last day celebration on Zoom and you have these beautiful read-alouds that I am reading for you. So, love you all. Thank you for being in my class and being part of my classroom family this year. And good luck next year and have a great summer. Miss you guys.